husband <laughs> all these dang boxes gonna have to go out <laughs> Ever in North Carolina, 
me y'all stop by make sure y'all go to walk on because they got some bomb ass nola food not even gonna lie took a while we picked up some stuff from our store yesterday i picked up some of the stuff from the store yesterday hubby's um shipment from italy came in so that's pretty cool got some of my stuff in the living room stuff is just everywhere right now y'all we still haven't settled in yet we're pretty much trying to get everything out the storage and put everything in the house so we could organize and go from there and see what we really gonna need and what we're not gonna use and put the rest of the stuff in the storage at the house. We waiting on Black Friday so we can catch these sales for that TV. A bigger TV for our room and we're gonna put that TV in one of the guest rooms and then we're gonna get another TV for the guest room. So yeah, so all we gotta get is our dining room furniture, the bar for the kitchen, the dryer, the love seat, the furniture for the guest rooms we're still waiting on our shipment for the rest of our furniture for our bedroom what else we gotta get and then the house to be done and then we just got we don't really need nothing for the kitchen because we pretty much got everything for the kitchen all we have to do is put up the decor in the kitchen decorate out here decorate the laundry area and decorate the hallway I want to do something to the hallway i don't know what yet and i also want an entry table i want to put an entry table like right there tell me what y'all think about that I spoke to hubby about it we'll see i'm good but yeah we just came from home goods and we picked up some stuff we found this painting. Your boy got I'm gonna give him okay? I'm the credit. He found the oh. painting. Okay, yeah, but I saw the other one first, and then you saw the other one, and then you was like, let's get that one. But I forgot the vlog one was in there, but it's all good. But we're gonna show you what we got when we get home. That shit gonna be hard. We gotta grab the love seat. When that comes we're gonna see how the living room look and decide if we're gonna get a chair or not and remember i told y'all we're gonna get an entry table which entry table are we gonna get are we going to bed line? huh y'all this store is not even that far by Krispy Kreme. I want to get coffee tables and side tables. And I wanted to go look. And I like you want to get an entry table. But I want to go. Not today. Y'all, I want to get stuff for this house. Yeah. What's going on, y'all? Yeah, yeah. Hope you're not kidding about this. This mama, this motherfucker will mostly hit like that shit low key. 
freaking like, and I know it is because I'm speaking loud. Bullshit and shit because I already know it's gonna sound so good just because I'm looking tipsy. So, yeah. So, this drink right here is called Death Valley. And it's very much giving death because this shit is strong as fuck. You think I can tie this on my tongue? Y'all, he said I can't tie this on my tongue. That just pissed me off. Which makes me wanna do it. The next day. What's good, family? Today, we finally put our solar panels up for the cameras. Okay? These guns out here are ferocious. They are. They biting. Y'all see? I'll be over here putting a ladder up. Real handy band. Mm. And y'all see the vibes. Y'all see 360 security on the ass. You gotta have your Milwaukee to get your work done around the house. I'm gonna go ahead and get lunch started for us. Cause my stomach is growling. Like I am hungry. Okay. Actually, I'm hangry. All right, so yes, y'all, we got these solar panels right here. And we gotta see if they live up to what they say. So in this clip that y'all are seeing, y'all are gonna read these messages and see that we were in contact with a whole scammer. So we noticed this person was trying to scam because in the middle of the messages, he was saying something about look at the property through the windows. Now, how are you going to see a property that you're supposed to be staying in through the windows? That makes sense, y'all. So my husband and I, we spoke it over after we couldn't see the property in person, the interior of the property in person. And we realized, you know, he was one of those scammers and he was playing a whole bunch of games. Although it was a real listing, he did not own this property. So upon going to the property, we saw some neighbors outside and we walked up to them and we started speaking to them. And we was just asking them questions about the property. And they were saying that there is a recent scam going around with that same property and how multiple people got scammed. Now y'all know we're a military family. So you know when you PCS somewhere, you are obviously looking for a place to stay long before. I was in contact with this guy long before we even moved to find this place. And when I went down there originally with my dad, I was trying to view the property then, but we didn't have enough time to view the property. So we decided that when we go back to North Carolina, we will view the property. Anyways, long story short, this man kept calling me and harassing me for money, this quote unquote deposit. However, the contract didn't seem legit to me because y'all know Donna, okay, listen, I'm an FBI agent, y'all undercover. So I went and I did my research and I looked up the email that he was sending it from, the application from, just to see that this was a legitimate business, but he was impersonating to be that business with an extra letter in that email, if that makes sense. So when I realized that, you know, my husband and I, we spoke about it and was like, nah, we ain't gonna pursue this because it seems like a scam and it's, too, it's, a, it's a little too good to be true. Y'all, inflation is crazy. And I'm not gonna say that rent wasn't as expensive at the time, but it was still a little pricey. But we was just like, this price is a little too good to be true for this type of home. After we compiled all our information together, we just realized that whole time he was a scammer and he was trying to get money out of us because he knew we was military. I'ma say all that to say, y'all do not fall for these scams and these gimmicks, especially when it come down to like, house hunting and things like that if you can't see it in person it ain't real and that's just me and that's that on that so we made the executive decision to not follow through with this process we didn't send him any money we felt like his name didn't match his voice anyway this was an african guy but he had a name like for example joe johnson you're not a joe johnson let's be real and i know africans they sometimes change their names and things but you're not a joe johnson don't try to play me that's 
the little snippet and know we did not get scammed. Walking with the what?